welcome. My name is Melody and I'm from the MelodyCrochet.com. I am so excited to see you guys. I walked in to a Hobby Lobby the other day and the strangest thing happened. They were having a clearance. Not a small clearance. They were marking everything 80% down all at once. People were taking yarn away and bringing it back with red tags that said a dollar all over the yarn section. It was startling. I picked up a few things and then I went back the next day they were open because they're closed on Sunday. I went back the next day I could and I cleaned up. So I'm here to share with you my yarn haul. I hope that you don't mind. I don't know if you like yarn hauls, but I sure do like talking about yarn. So I figured we'd go through it and if I have any ideas of what I'm going to make, I'll share that and what I've made with it in the past. So let's play, shall we? First and foremost, they had several of their prints of the I Love This Yarn prints on clearance for 99 cents. I went insane. I have two balls of this already and I just love this colorway. It is called Elements Flower and I think that's so pretty. I've wanted to make a sweater out of this and now that I have a third ball of it, I can. So it, I'm thinking three skeins is gonna be perfect to make a nice, loose, drapey sweater and I just think it's gonna be so pretty. I'm really excited. And so I picked that up for 99 cents. It was very hard not to. And I really did hold that quite a bit. I had a lot more in the cart and I put it down before I leave the store. Actually, the what have I done portion of my podcast branches out from me before I leave. I sit in a section and I'll be like, okay, what have I done? So I play what have I done? And I put back stuff that I just should not be taking home. <laughs> there was a ton, I'd say 80% of the Vanna solids, the Lime Brand Vanna solids were on clearance for 99 cents. And I went home with these two in aquamarine. I have one already. This is going to be three. And that means I can totally make a hat and scarf set. I love this color. I think it's so pretty. And making some hats, crocheted hats probably. I love crocheting with Vanna. It sounds awesome. So 99 cents. It was very hard to pass up. So do you guys make anything with Vanna? Almost everybody has a favorite pattern with Vanna. I do a bunch of bearded beanies at Christmas. And as a rule, those go really well. And I use Vanna for those. I use barley for the beard and I use whatever color anybody orders on Etsy for the hat. And I've gotten lots of women who like the girly colors with the bearded beanie on <laughs> the beard attached to it. So that's pretty awesome. Now the next one has a history with it. This is my first, I think it's Tin Can Knits, yes, makes these rye socks and I made this for my son. It was one of the very first things that I knit and it's so obvious because it's before I didn't twist my stitches. You might see how that opens up right there. That's because I was still twisting my stitches when I made these for him and I even had a little mistake there. <laughs> so sweet but he loved them so much and they kept his feet warm but this was years ago and he of course being almost nine years old now has grown quite a bit so I saw for $1.24 they had the same colorway <laughs> got a little yarn around here so it's $1.24 right now and I think about half of the colors of their I love this wool blend which means it has a little nylon in it did they call it nylon right in front of me oh it's 80 percent acrylic with 20 percent wool it washes so well this has been worn abused and washed so many times before it was taken out of commission because it really did stretch quite a ways for a while so he really he gave it a try and each time i washed it it sprung right back into shape even despite its crazy knitting with my twisted stitches i was having a hard time with a certain stitch and i'd been knitting for a little while and somebody really gently let me know you know you're twisting your stitches. That's why it's not working out. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? And I was yowing the wrong direction. If I remember correctly, that's how I was accomplishing this amazing stitch. And I like it. It almost looks like a Tunisian stitch from crochet, but no, it was, see right there it worked. That would be, I'm wondering, it went around and around. That would be back and forth. So I guess back and forth, I was fine because that's normal. And then around in a circle is where I hit a problem, I guess. So I was yelling the wrong direction on my stitches. 
probably not even consistently, but yeah, good portion of the sock. Isn't that adorable? It's like baby knitting. It's a baby sock and my baby knitting. So I'm going to make my son some new rye socks. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I'll try and link below. And, oh, the sugar wheels. I made some blankets, especially one for a friend that I shared on here. From the color wheels at Hobby Lobby. And these are called sugar wheels. This one's Jumping Jelly. They're $1.74 each right now. You get quite a bit of them. I got some that, some that matched, which is awesome. I love purple. I love deep greens. They're red, you know, it is what it is. But that purple and that green totally get me. They call this colorway Jumpin' Jelly. Just said that, didn't I? You get 355 yards, 7 ounces, 100% acrylic. And I know I love the yarn because I've used it before, so I'm going to make up some baby blankets. I don't know if I'll keep them or pop them on Etsy. I just like making them. So, in the pretty? I'm very, very pleased. And another colorway. I figure. Same thing. I'm gonna make a blanket. Same price, dollar seventy-four. And this one's gonna be for my son, and he's gonna love it because I'm gonna go with a granny. He's a, he runs warm, so I'm gonna go with a granny stripe blanket for him, and I think it's gonna look really pretty. Um, they are not the same at all. You might notice they don't match at all. He's not going to mind. He likes things just a little wild and crazy. So this will be right up his alley. I'm going to use a big hook, probably like a K hook, because when I say runs warm, I mean him and his dad. They just run really warm. They don't like anything too toasty when they're sleeping. So this is going to be perfect just for the foot of his bed. And it matches the colors in his room. What's this one called? This one's called Apple Tart. They have cute names. My last yarny purchase was a shawl and a ball. And I already have one of these in my stash and I didn't find the ability to use it because no good reason, really. I love this. It was $2.49, which is amazing for a shawl and a ball. I think I paid $9 for my first one. Yep, this was, this was $9. I got my first one at... Walmart, so I might have paid a dollar or so less, but this is Healing Teal. It's not glittery. I've seen the glittery ones. They're gorgeous too, but I want to make a sweater, I think. Just something really light. I wouldn't even call it a sweater. It would probably follow a sweater pattern, but I'm thinking something more that I can wear in the summer, in the spring, in the fall. Nothing too warm. This feels like it has some cotton in it. This has, yeah, 58% cotton. 39% acrylic, 3% other fiber. I love other fiber. Oh, I love that wrap she has there. That's so pretty. But something on a big hook, something super drapey, would be fabulous. And now that I have two balls of it, I don't think I would have any issue with that at all. And there's those colors worked up, and they just go from light to dark. So let's get on that. Hold me accountable, guys. <laughs> I need to make it happen. Then I went over and they had books and crazy discounts on the book. I saw this one, which I've loved forever. I've had crochet geometry. It might have been checked out in the library though. That's the only way I can figure I had it in my hands, but I know I had it and I know I like it because I love a bunch of the patterns in here. So I got some of those patterns, really cool stuff. And this is by Shannon Mullet Bowlesby. And I love him. If you get a chance, ooh, what is, ooh, him and his partner call it themselves something. I might say it at the back. But that's him. And I've seen several interviews with him. He is absolutely amazing. They are both so fun and funny. I've seen them on Marley Bird. She's had them a couple times, and they are fabulous together. And all oh, the book is beautiful, full of full colored pictures. What was that purple thing I just saw? What was that purple thing? Oh my goodness. But yeah, just one thing after another. Oh, there it is. Look at that detail. I will link down below in case you were curious and you would like to find your own copy. But it was $1.80. So if you are near a Hobby Lobby, get yourself over there. Be careful though. It was crazy. So, <laughs> and then I got this because I love a mini skein. This is knitting and they just have a ton of mini skein 
items. Was it a dollar twenty? No, it's eighty nine cents. Oh, and it's in such great shape. I mean, it was literally fifteen dollars the day before. And they have a bunch of patterns. And I really got this for this sweater. Look at some. Look at those mittens. Have you ever? And I just thought the patterns looked so fun. A gorgeous shawl. Who made that? Deborah Stack. Beautiful. Lots of mittens. Oh, these socks are so cute. Aren't those adorable? Oh, well that is... Oh, there's it. That's the reason I own this book. I need that sweater. It's adorable. So, stripes are right up my alley and I love a mini scheme. Oh, and last one. Actual last one this time. Um, this was $1.49. And I have admired this beautiful color from Heartland. So it's Lion Brand Heartland. And I love this color. I have since it came out, but I've never purchased it. And I got two balls for $1.49 each. Yes. And I make a one shawl, a one ball shawl out of Heartland. So I like to collect it. And if this is leaving, I need it because there has been some tragedy in people's lives when Heartland left with colors. I remember there was one color, it was named after a mountain. It was like a fuchsia hot pink color and people were so sad when that left. And I could see this teal being very similar in that aspect. Hopefully it will still say, still say in other places and hopefully the new colors will be even just as gorgeous. But I had to have it because I make a one ball shawl shawl and I love it so I'll be making that and sharing it and hopefully getting a couple of those together because these this is just a breathtaking color I love it so much and I have to make that pattern over again anyway so I might as well be in that gorgeous bright color and that'll be a lot more fun to look at than more gray because so far I've only made it in kind of a chocolate brown and a charcoal gray so green is gonna be a lot of fun and while I was out to celebrate my son's 21st birthday, I always like to celebrate with a ball of yarn. I went to our local yarn store and they had a new shipment from Hedgehog Fibers and this is my first Hedgehog Fibers twist sock. So it's not like the regular sock, which is a little thinner. This is a little bit denser, a little bit plumper, a little more twist definition. Like this is the regular sock. And that is the twist sock. It's kind of like knit, knit picks. This would be more like the stroll. This would be more like Hawthorne. Nice and dense. Very awesome. I'm loving working with it. I came home. I would show it to you in a ball if I had it that way, but I could not stop because they were like, who can make the first sock out of it? And I'm like, me, me. I don't know if that's the case. We got some fast, amazing sock knitters at my local yarn store, but I have to try, right? So this is my sock so far. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, those hot pink pops. They make me so happy. And I'm working them up on some DP ends. I'm going with bamboo, size one. And this is the Rose City Rollers pattern. They're a nice shorty sock with a little rolled cuff. I love them. I've made them a couple times and they're fun to make and fun to have afterward. That's in my Hannah bag, Cozy Cottage Crochet. Love her very much. Go see her and say hello for me. While I was there, <laughs> I got an enamel pen and it totally stole my heart. It's a yarn ball, but it's sushi. And it's in little knitting needles. Have you ever? So it's like yarn ramen with knitting needle chopsticks. They had some crochet ones and different ones, but this one, ooh, we love sushi. And we love ramen. And we love pho. So this had to happen. So this is going right on my bag as soon as we're done recording here. Okay, it's coming on now. My gosh, I have no self-control. But thank you guys for joining me. If you get a chance, get over to your Hobby Lobby if you have an opportunity to. I highly recommend it before all the fun deals are gone. And thank you for sitting with me. Take good care. Bye-bye.